Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Forex PNL, where we focus on making big profits and small losses. Today is the um, 22nd of July 2021, it's 2.43pm and um, I'm about to make another video. I think this is probably going to be like an educational video. And in this particular video, I'm going to be telling you guys, you know, what I think is the best way to go about funding these prop firm challenges, okay? I know most of us are trying as much as possible to pass all these um, prop firm challenges so that we can trade a bigger account size, okay? I understand that, trust me, I'm also part of that struggle as well because, you know, I'm trying to see if I can get a bigger amount of, um, you know, account for me to trade and, uh, you know, that will make trading much more worthwhile, okay? Now, um, that being said, I have been experimenting, I actually thought about something about, let's say, about, let's say two months ago. And it kind of made some sense to me and I decided to put it to work first of all before I share it with you guys. So before we go into the video, let's do a little math and then you will understand exactly where I am coming from, okay? For most prop firms, uh, you understand they give you, let's say, I'm, I'm going to be using the 100k accounts um, for this example, okay? And again, guys, pardon my writing, okay? It's hard to kind of write with my mouse. All right, so let's say you're trying to purchase a 100k challenge, okay? Now, um, for the most part, the challenge is basically like for you to use this 100k account and make, um, let's say, 10% profit, which is basically for you to make 10k profit, okay? Now, um, for the most part, you also cannot lose more than 10% of this particular account, okay? Now, that means that, strictly speaking, the size of this account is actually 10k, all right? So, you are actually being asked to use um, 10k to make 10k within 30 calendar days that's basically the construct of most of these uh, prop firm challenges okay now um, in other words you can also say that you are being asked to use um, to make 100% profit within 30 calendar days that's basically what this is all right now don't get confused uh, even if the account says 1 million dollars and you can only lose um, ten thousand dollars the account is as big as the amount of drawdown that is allowed in the account okay so if the max drawdown of the account is 10k then that's the size of the account okay uh, so just keep that in mind so with this out of the way um, the next thing that i want to point out is also you know a practice that most traders actually use to pass these challenges so most people are you know risking probably one percent okay of this 100k account okay so one, most people are okay with taking a risk of one percent of the 100k account now um that being said you are risking approximately let's say one thousand dollars okay on every trade that you take okay approximately one thousand dollars all right so that's approximately the amount of risk that most traders are taking now if you narrow that down to the size of the accounts that we are actually trading okay that means that we are actually risking 10 percent okay 10 percent of the ten thousand dollars on a trade okay because one percent of 100k is the same as 10 percent of 10k all right so we are actually risking 10 percent on our of our accounts per trade that is if you're risking one percent of 100k now if you're risking let's say 0.5 percent of the 100k then that becomes five percent you get the idea all right so nonetheless this is the risk that we are taking when we are you know the risk we are taking per trade if we are trading these profit accounts for the most part all right and uh, well i don't blame us because hey for you to actually make a hundred percent return in a you know in a calendar month it's you need to take significant risk you need to take more risk than normal okay so um, it makes sense that people are trying to, you know, increase their risk in order to, you know, be sure that they can hit that profit target. Okay. Now, um, why did I actually start doing this math? If you notice, recently I opened uh, a two thousand dollar account and I started uh, risking five percent per trade. Okay. I was risking five percent of that account per trade. I know most of you will be wondering why am I risking that la that high? Yes, I agree with you. On a normal day. This is not the amount of risk I'm going to be taking on my live account, obviously. I would never be risking 
five percent of my accounts per trade because the risk of ruin becomes very high okay and our game in this business should be capital preservation and not you know trying to chase to make more profits by increasing our percent risk per trade okay so it should be number one should be capital preservation all right so on a normal day my live account i'm not going to be risking five percent per trade i just want to put that out there if you've been following my channel for a while you must have heard me say this in one way or the other okay so if you've not heard me say it and this is your first time that's fine i would never be risking five percent of my accounts per trade the only reason why you i was risking that much is because i wanted to show you guys what i feel or what i believe is actually the best way to go about funding uh, all these uh, prop firm challenges so for most people what we do is we dip our hands into our bank accounts and you know purchase those challenges those prop firm challenges okay now there's nothing wrong with that but again there is no guarantee that you're going to pass the challenge so what happens in the worst case scenario that you you actually lose or fail the challenge okay if you fail the challenge well you forfeit the money that you've paid let's say you purchased a hundred K challenge with one of the prop firms okay for about six hundred and fifty dollars now within 30 days you fail the challenge and you forfeit the six hundred and fifty dollars well you might want to do that again next month before you know it you've purchased three four five hundred K challenges and then you pissed at yourself as mean you've not passed it i'm just giving you an example because it happens okay we're not going to act like these things don't happen now if you've not passed that challenge by that time many things will be going on in your mind first of all you're like damn if i had known i could have easily put this amount in my live account and traded it by myself that's something that can you know you can you can start thinking after you have failed the challenges you don't think about this thing before okay you think about it after in my own opinion this could be quite painful if this cycle, if you remember in, in this cycle, trust me, it can be very, very painful. All right. For, for anyone who has been in this type of cycle, trust me, you can agree with me that it can be very, very painful. All right. So what am I suggesting? Well, instead of dipping your hands into your bank accounts or your paycheck and, you know, bringing out that amount for your for the prop firm challenge. OK, let's say it's a 100K challenge. All right. Uh, instead of dipping your hand into your accounts to bring out that six hundred and fifty dollars and just right away put it into your prop firm and start the challenge what i advise you to do is to do what put that six hundred and fifty dollars into a live account okay put that six hundred and fifty dollars into a live account and challenge yourself to double this six hundred and fifty dollars within 30 calendar days okay within 30 calendar days. Obviously, risking 1% of this 650 dollars will make it almost an upheaval task for you to be able to double the amount within 30 days. But well, if you are trading the prop firm challenge anyways, you are going to be risking about 5 to 10% of your of the account, isn't it? So well, risk 5 to 10% of this amount of money per trade. If you would have passed the challenge, it means that you would have also doubled this 650 dollars within that 30 calendar days once you are able to achieve that withdraw the profits that you made okay which is the 650 dollars you would have now made in profits and use it to purchase the challenge what is the advantage of going this route well one you have basically proved to yourself that you have what it takes to pass the challenge because you just literally passed the challenge secondly you are basically trading with house money because now you still have your original $650, all right? And you're purchasing the challenge with a $650 that you made in profits. What's the worst case scenario at this point? Well, the worst case scenario at this point is you deposit the profits, which is the $650, and you fail the challenge. Well, you still have your original $650, all right? So, yes, you lost money. Yes, you lost your profits. But it is not capital. You still have your capital. Okay, remember, at the end of the day, this is all about capital preservation. The best case scenario, obviously, is, well, you deposit that profits that you made and you pass the challenge and verification and even get access to bigger uh, capital. So you get the idea. And again, guys, if this is making any sense to you, please drop me a comment in the um, comment section and, you know, let me know how you feel about this approach. Uh, if this if you're doing something similar that would be nice as well but i just wanted to share this with you guys so that i you know you guys also see the way or the reason why i actually opened 
that two thousand dollar account now why did i open a two thousand dollar account and trade it at that point well in my own case i wanted to purchase um three one hundred k um challenges all right that's what i wanted to purchase well if each of them is going for about six hundred and fifty dollars okay approximately well that means the three of them if you multiply this that gives you about i think uh, 1950 if my math is correct okay about 1950 which is approximately what two thousand dollars so that's the reason why I put that $2,000 in. So instead of using that $2,000 that I have to purchase three 100K challenges, what I did was I first of all challenged myself to put that $2,000 into a live account and try to double that $2,000 account within 30 calendar days, risking about 5 to 10% of that upper amount. Okay? Well, like I said earlier, if trade does not go very well and i lose this two thousand dollars within that 30 days what does it mean it means that i would have also failed the challenge right if things go well that i would have passed the challenge well guess what i would have doubled this two thousand dollars like i said earlier what does this do for me it increases my confidence okay because one thing about these challenges is you want to go in with some healthy amount of confidence confidence okay so you make that two thousand dollars in profit then you can withdraw that two thousand dollars and use it to purchase the 300k um challenge that you want to purchase that's what i'm doing right now I, i've actually purchased the first one and i'm going to show you guys i just purchased it today because i just filled my withdrawal form today uh, received the money and i'm purchasing that uh, i just purchased the first one today i'm going to do them one after the other that's how i intend to do it and i'm going with funding talent okay because i basically i like their uh, their rules i feel like it's the best in the industry at the moment okay just being honest with you all right so um two thousand dollars in profit but now i'm using that two thousand dollars to do what purchase the three 100k um challenge that i wanted to purchase originally if things don't go as i planned and you know the worst case scenario is that i fail all three challenges okay what happens well yes i will lose two thousand but that two thousand that i'm losing is what profits all i lost is time i didn't lose money okay the time that i used in making the profits but I still have my original capital sitting in here, all right? I can still do the same thing again, challenge myself, do the same thing again, and try to raise the same amount of money and repeat the process again. But what this will help you do is it will prevent you from losing your capital. You would not have to keep dipping your hands into your capital, okay? You would not have to keep dipping your hands into your capital. That's key, all right? So I just felt like I should share this with you guys and also look at the second part where this thing is actually good. Okay. Now, even if for some reason you are not able to double this within 30 days, what happens? You don't lose anything. You don't reset. Your broker does not reset your balance back to starting point. Okay. You can just continue trading till any point where you are able to do what to double that account. Okay. So you just keep doing the same thing. There's no pressure. So you can under the smallest amount of pressure, if any, be able to double that your account size. Now, after that, you can now use it to the profits that was generated from that process and put that profits into a challenge um, account where you actually have more pressure because now you are constrained by time you have to achieve it within you know 30 days or you'll be reset if you're in profit or you forfeit the account if you're in loss all right but you see the benefits so let's say trading didn't go well in the first two weeks or first three weeks that i deposited this what happens well maybe this will now be at 1000 okay it might be at 1000 but guess what i continue trading i still have not lost my money I continue trading till whenever I'm able to take that 1,000 to what? To 4,000. Simple. That's that's all it means. Once I'm, I take it to 4,000, I withdraw 2,000 and use it to purchase the challenge that I want. And I still have my original 2,000. All right? Now, if the best case scenario happens and I'm able to pass the three um, 100K challenges and verifications, well, at that point, I still have my original 2,000. I now have the 300K prop account. If I pass those as well, if I'm able to, you know, trade profitably, I will also get back my prof $2,000 profit that I actually used in purchasing the challenge. So in my own opinion, this is the best way 
this is the best way to go about this whole process. I hope my explanation was quite clear. Hopefully it is. Um, but if you have any questions, guys, do not forget to ask me in the comment section. I will take my time to explain to you what I did in this particular video. All right. Now, now to show you guys what I mean, because like I said, I wanted to make sure that I could do this myself and have the evidence before I present it to you guys. Uh, like I've been showing you guys in my channel. All right. Uh, this is the that account earlier today. I actually took a, a, a losing trade. That's why this dropped. So I was sitting at around 104% in profit. So that means that I was able to double the $2,000 that I put in here. Okay. So you can see once I was able to do that, um, the amount of money that I needed to purchase the three, uh, what you call it, the three hundred uh, K challenges from funding talent was eighteen sixty. All right. So you see, I've already filled a withdrawal form. I would have withdrawn eighteen sixty, but the reason I withdraw sixteen oh five is because I had some money left in my um in my back office. So I just decided to just withdraw whatever I needed to make up to around that eighteen fifty. All right. You get the idea. So that's what I did here. And you can see I started trading this account right around June. I think I opened it at June 12th, but then started trading around June 15th. So this is July 22nd. Okay. Nah, a little past one month. Who cares? All right. But you get the idea. Challenge yourself, first of all, to do this. If you can do this, well, obviously past performance does not guarantee future performance in trading. But that means that even if you fail the challenge, what's the worst case scenario? You just lost your profit. I still have this $2,000. Actually, now the balance is sitting at 2260 Okay? I still have the amount of money that I put in sitting here. And, you know, just resting. There's no pressure on that amount of money. It's like I, I, it's like I basically purchased this challenge for free, in quotes. It just cost me time to purchase the challenge for free without having to put in my own money. All right. So I'm just looking for ways that will make it easier for us to purchase these challenges without having to feel the pain or be under immense pressure because of the amount of money that we have on the table. All right. So, guys, um, that's basically it. And oh, before I leave, let me show you guys. This is the funding talent um, account that I was talking about. So I just purchased the first one right now. You see, I just uh, started to date 0722. All right. So I just purchased it now and uh, well, let's see how it goes. I will also be keeping you guys posted of the um, complete process. All right. So that's that's basically it, guys. I just wanted to share with this with you. If this is something that you think make, makes sense to you, just let me know in the comment section. Um, share it and let me know if you've even done something like this um, in the past. All right. Thanks and um, enjoy the rest of your week. Bye bye.